Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your past, present, and future reading. We are going to look at what was, what currently is, and what is to come for Sagittarius. And we're going to start with an anchor so we know where Spirit wants to take this reading for Sagittarius. So let's hop in, Sag, and see what is coming for you, what is going on in your life. Show us Sagittarius, Spirit. The light after the darkness. Nice. Sagittarius. You've been going through it, okay? And this could be like you've been just going through one thing after another. Or <clears throat> there's just like a lot on your plate. Um, you're trying to create. You're trying to build. Like there's just a lot that's been on you. And it's been heavy. And you're, you're still moving. You're still going forward. But... You've had a lot of fear, like, of the future, of what's going to be, what's going to happen. Um, you know, you're optimistic, you're hopeful, but there's still a lot of fear about what's up ahead. And Spirit just wants you to know, before we even get into your reading, that your day is dawning, Sagittarius, okay? And we're going to pull cards to see if Spirit will really hone in on a specific area of your life or keep this very fluid in general so that you can personally apply it, all right? So let's see. Let's pull a card for um, what was, where you currently are or are just moving into, and then what is to come within 30 days from the time that you view this reading. All right. So let's see. We got five. So... We've got the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands, and Temperance with the Four of Wands. And this is beautiful because this is the card that represents you, Sagittarius, okay? And you got the Four of Wands coming out with you. So you are definitely moving into some stability right now. In the present, I see there's sadness, there's worry, there's fear. Um, not feeling like there is enough, um, maybe feeling some loss, okay, because it's like here in the past we have this Ten of Cups, so Sagittarius, in the very recent past, or just as you're watching this reading, you've completed a journey, an emotional journey, you've been learning some things, okay, and that you, you're now done with that, and through the completion of that, where you currently stand, it's like you're, you're feeling a sense of loss or um, not feeling fully satisfied, a little disappointed in progress and growth, you know, just whatever in this exact moment, you're not in your, your best space emotionally. And that's why Spirit's saying, you know what, don't worry about this, Sag. Okay, your day is dawning and you're coming back into a place of stability. Okay, you're working some alchemy in your life. Um, there's changes inside of you. And through these changes because you've completed this journey, and I love this because you see this mountain coming all the way down this path, and now here we are at the uh, water. Things are balancing out. You see the sun back there, so synchronistic to this card because you've been on a journey. It's completed an emotional journey, okay? And now you're going to be coming back into balance, into stability, even though right now you're feeling a bit of sadness, fear. It's going to be okay. And Spirit wants you to know that because here you are showing us the page of wands and what's to come. Brand new path, brand new beginning, um, new opportunity, new relationship, new door opening, newness for Sagittarius is what is coming. And that's your day dawning. So let's pull some more cards. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. this is what is um, helping to clarify this Ten of Cups. There was a big change um, in your life, in your past. I'm going to say, I mean, this is a Ten. I wanted to go to like six months. This is card 16. 
I would say like within the last six to 10 months, um, there, there's been a change in you and it's attached to this journey, even if you didn't associate it or recognize it, but it's a big shift, a big change in you, in your life that you didn't expect. And through that shift and change, there is joy and happiness that came with it. Okay. But right now where you're at, because we're closing this out, there's, um, insecurity, instability, sadness, maybe even a, a sense of loss. So let's look at the present. I just got a really big download about I just I don't like giving these kind of messages is because it's so so sensitive but it was a huge huge download and this is just for some Sagittarius is out there okay and it's like you need to hear this I feel like you've been trying to conceive a child okay whether it's you or um, your partner like um, it's I see like trying to conceive trying to conceive and we've had some success, but it, it didn't result, okay? Or um, like you've had a, a child and maybe um, what's come after that is like a miscarriage, okay? So I do see some of you like where um, we're trying to like start a family, okay? And um, there's been a success, but there's been a, a big setback, a big sadness, all right? But with this page of wands, in the future, there is there is another child coming into your reality, whether through, um, you know, you or your partner birthing this child, adoption, okay, there is like, there's this child coming in. So those of you where there's like, been a, like a lot of struggle, challenge around fertility, pregnancy, things like that, I, I see like the future this child coming in, okay, a feminine energy, a female, a girl, and that's just for some, and um, if that triggered anybody or anything, I'm so sorry, I don't like messages like that, but that was, like I had, I was just feeling that so strongly, oh my gosh, yeah, Sagittarius, no matter what it is going on for you, Spirit saying stop worrying, Focus more on the dream, the goal, the outcome, all right, and, and get out of the, the worry and the fear because the worry and the fear does you no good. You need to focus on the prize and never take your eyes off of that, like no matter what your day is dawning. And see, like now, like um, my eyes are kind of like burning a little bit. And I feel like that's happening because some of you have just like cried your eyes out to the point they hurt. All right, we've got the Two of Cups. Um, we've got the King of Swords, the Star again with the Five of Wands. Okay, so this is the present. Um... Sagittarius, anybody that you are having a conflict with right now, spirits like don't don't dive into that. Don't analyze it. Don't um, question because it's like you don't understand why certain relationships um, are the way they are right now, or why certain things had to like abruptly change and happen. Like you you don't understand it. Like you're in conflict about it. Okay, and again, it's like spirits saying to you, everything is going to work out for you, Sagittarius, and um, don't focus like on the conflict of, you know, what's wrong, um, somebody else like acting weird, having an off vibe towards you when you're like, yo, I've done nothing wrong whatsoever. Okay, um, don't worry about that. It's like this energy is going to work itself out because you got the star here. Okay, and then like back around like that uh, child situation, conception, 
um, the sadness may be because like one of you is like, you know what, I, I just don't want to try anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. And the other one does. Um, regardless of what side you fall on, Sagittarius, for those of you where that message is, is your message, again, Spirit is saying, let it all go. Just let it all go. There is a destiny involved for you, and it's going to play out for you. And um, like excessively worrying and getting caught up in the conflict and uh, trying to control a situation or get your way or make things turn out like you want them to, it, it, it's like counterproductive right now. All right. It's like things are set in motion and you're going to come into a place of stability, of balance. All right. It's coming. So right now, Spirit is saying, don't don't focus on all the all the things that are wrong, all the worries, the conflicts, the disagreements, the arguments. Focus on the destiny. You know, like this is like your northern star. In the darkness of night, your way will be lit for you. Your path will be lit for you. Okay, and then you see the, the, the water exchange between the two cups there. And then we got the water again here. Things are really going to come together for you, okay? I almost feel like um, with these cups, it's like you're going from one version of self, which makes perfect sense with this journey, to a new version of self. And I see that again here with the star. So it's like what, what's wrong, what's off. It's not, it will be revealed to you, okay? It's like, don't worry about that. Focus on your well-being mentally, emotionally, and keep moving forward because you're, there's destiny and it's unfolding. So let's look at this page of wands into what is to come. Yes, Sagittarius, as much as you don't want to hear that, it's like this is out of your hands. And there is good that's going to come in. And right now, yes, we are sad. There's, you know, worry. There's fear. But it, this is all going to turn around. This is all going to change. See? Yes. See that mother energy keeps coming in. You could be a masculine and this could be about your partner, but man, the, the mother feminine energy is really, really coming in because here it is again. And this, this child is like, it's a baby girl. Okay. Um, and look at the fulfillment of that, of that baby girl. So a Sagittarius out there has to know, like there's this baby girl that is going to come to you. Okay. This baby girl will come to you somehow, some way. Let it go and let the universe right now. All right. And now for the rest of you of what's to come. Yeah. See, this is your, your new path because you got the, the journey here through the 10 of cups. We saw that you were going to have the new coming in through the page of wands, but the page of cups just really reinforces that. And it's going to be a very solid, steady path for you. There's a lot of um, fulfillment coming in for you in the very near future. Things to make you quite, quite happy. Okay. Um, I'm getting in your guys' relationship, in your relationship, in your reading, I'm getting a lot around like family dynamics, um, relationship dynamics. Okay. But this is a general reading Sagittarius. So it could truly apply to any area of your life where you feel like, yeah, that's you're telling my story about what I've been going through, okay? But there is a very strong emphasis on relationships, family, children, those dynamics, and you having a lot of struggle um, and worry, and that's gonna shift, like almost magically, I feel, is like what you're gonna be thinking to yourself. this new day that's dawning for Sagittarius.
Okay, so we have, yep, see, energy balance, karma coming in, what's due, destiny. Page of, see, this child situation, y'all, like, let it go. Just let it go because it, this baby girl, this baby girl is destined in your life, okay? She is destined. Um, again, whether it's through like birth or through like an adoption of sorts like this is just going to be it's just going to happen all right next um we have the four of cups and then the ten of wands okay again the coming to the end of a journey all right and feeling a bit of uh dissatisfaction um with the result but you're not okay so even though like this journey is like ended the cycle's completed okay you haven't received the reward of it yet and you don't realize that you haven't received the the culmination the payoff okay the reward just yet and so it feels burdensome it feels heavy right now okay but the reward the payoff the cut is coming the healing in the family is coming. The healing in the friendship is coming. The healing in the romantic relationship is coming. Okay, and man, this baby girl in this reading, oh, she is so strong. You know, as some of you, it could be like, um, there's just like some fear around the pregnancy. Like, I, there's so many different ways I could go with that message when it comes to this baby girl. But it's like, this message only applies to the Sagittarius where the the child is is a girl, okay? Um, like, uh, yeah, it's a baby girl. And it's destiny. And for those of you where it does not apply at all, I'm so sorry that I, I just keep going back to this, but... I, it, this baby girl is so strong. You know, some of you, that may be what this is about. Maybe some of you um, have recently lost like a, a feminine child and you, you're you really struggling like and you feel like what kind of family can I have or, or can I be without my baby girl? And she is watching over you for sure, okay? Because this baby girl is so strong <clears throat> in this reading. <clears throat> but yes, Sagittarius, in all matters, there is a sense of satisfaction coming. And there's a destiny here for you. And right now, you've just got to, like, trust the process. And not be afraid like that <clears throat> all is lost or that you're going to lose even more because that you're not like you're coming out of out of the dark. Your, your day is dawning. Yeah, you're coming out of this Sagittarius. So you've got three tens going on. And we'll pop this one up here. You got three tens, definitely at the very end of a journey. The hardest is over. Things are going to get easier. You're not going to be stuck in this energy forever. Even though you feel that. Yeah, look at You're not going to be stuck in this energy forever. And look at who's here once again. Our beautiful baby girl. You know, this baby girl may just be a spirit that's coming in to this reading to just add and speak. Because, I, I, wow. I just, like, she's just everything in this reading. And, um... I have started taking a mediumship class, so um, my instructor did tell me that 
other energies would um, start coming in as I really progress through and so this little girl and she could even be pointing you to your inner child Sagittarius the innocence the purity the imagination the part of you you know that you were before life ever affected you and hurt you and, and all of that like that innocence that purity like get back to that space inside of you because it's like there's so much more ahead there's so much more to come your day is dawning all right and i'm actually going to put the sun right here because you got the dawn the light after the darkness your day is dawning and there is this little sweet <clears throat> feminine spirit that is all over in your reading whether she is directly connected to you or not, man, she is all over in your reading and she's bringing the sun and she's bringing happiness and joy. You've got two pages in this reading as well. And the Ace of Cups, like... She's little too. She's not. She's not very old. I would say like no older than six, like six and under, like a very, very young, young, pure energy. And if this isn't a, like a direct message to you, then she's here because she's trying to help lead you back into that space. She's trying to help bring the sun back into your life. And the, um, seven of pentacles. You got to just be patient, Sagittarius. And you know what? Wands is a masculine energy, and I was seeing that as feminine. And then um, when the Page of Cups came out, that is a feminine energy. And it's like it's not masculine, even though. But yeah, it's like you just wish things could move quicker or, or happen faster for you. It's like I'll do the work. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, this change, you've really struggled to let something go here, okay, but um, also with this Eight of Cups, Sagittarius, that is about wisdom and being on a journey and receiving a lot, a lot, and both of these cards represent like more of a, a night vibe with the moon and, and the, just the coloring, okay, and you've been very confused on this journey. Um, kind of feeling like you're spinning your wheels at times, feeling very blocked, feeling very restricted, but the sun is coming. And I was going to say, um, some of you, this little girl could be coming to you as like a, a grandchild even. And if that's the case, this little girl is just going to open your heart, crack your heart wide open, bring you back to life. Some of you, this might, you're going to be like a aunt or uncle. And it's just this baby, like, it's just the joy of your life. And if this is not a baby, this is a new energy that's coming in. New friend, new relationship, uh, new success. And as I say that, the High Priestess just jumped out. Yeah, you don't see the potential of, of what's about to come in. All right, it's a little bit hidden from you. But those pages that, it, along with, I feel this Ace of Cups and the Sun, this is like that new energy coming into your life. 
Yep. After defeat, after you're feeling defeated, boom, here it is. You're on a new journey. I love it, Sagittarius. Things are really going to turn around for you. Yep, you're going to have more success. Okay, success is coming. That's, this is what's in the future. What's to come, what's to be. There's success. There's movement. Things going your way. The chariot with um, this nine of cups, you know, emotional satisfaction, fulfillment. Getting your wish. Getting your wish. Also the card of innocence, childhood, nostalgia, aligning to soulmate. Some of you, this is a relationship coming in. You know, I, um, for the relationship, yeah, things are going to move really fast, like Godspeed. Um, for those of you where this is like a romantic relationship coming in, I feel like this relationship it comes in after you were already in a very long-term relationship previously. Like I, the tens, like eight to ten years is jumping out to me. Like you were in a relationship with somebody else and that ended, okay? And you've been going through the journey, like the healing journey, all right? That's what that Ten of Cups represents as your past energy. is like you've been going through the healing journey of um, this relationship leaving your life, okay? Um, and just quick side note, some of you, this baby girl is uh, attached to like one of your friends. I don't know. This baby girl for some of you, it, it, it means different things, okay? I'm sorry. That just, she just, do you see? Do you see? She just keeps um, hijacking. All right. But yeah, you've been healing from this relationship, okay? Sagittarius. And now what's to come, okay? What's coming in your future is a brand new romantic love, romantic union, okay? The, the day... Um, is dawning because you're finally healed. You're finally ready. This is a soulmate to you, this person. And it's like it, this relationship will move at God's speed. Okay. Um, others of you, this is obviously not a relationship, but that, that relationship of you in the long term, you've been single for a while, healing, working on that. Yeah, your energy has been really closed up. You haven't had anything to give to another person mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, because you needed to heal. You needed to understand. You've had a hard time letting go of this long-term relationship, okay? And this doesn't have to be like um, that you've always just been like, oh, i pining for them, longing to get back with them. This is also about getting over any sort of betrayal, heartache, sadness, anything attached to the relationship and the person, okay? You have had some struggles of letting it go and you know some of you it could be like a 10 year journey where you've really had a hard time um letting this person go or understanding why things happened the way they did but you're coming out of that like where there's been confusion and see yeah look at we had it an abrupt change in your past which puts you to where you are right now and this abrupt change could have brought some good stuff could have brought some bad stuff Nonetheless, it was a huge change in your life, and you've been picking up the pieces. Oh, yeah. Some of you have been on quite the long journey by yourself spirit's been with you okay just know that no matter what this was what you feel you've lost or what shifted what changed spirit has always been with you and um, you are stronger stable and wiser for any loss you've had in the past okay you are and now you know with this hermit you feel like you've been in the darkness, you know, and it doesn't mean like life has just been total crap. 
there's just some aspect of life that just, it's been heavy on you. And you there's fear, there's pain. But you've been growing, you've been learning through this experience. And it's been long. And also, um, you are awakening more to your, your spirit, your soul, and all the wisdom contained there. You're a different person, Sagittarius. Uh, we're looking out within the next 30 days, right? I just, these tens keep jumping out at me. You are not the same person. You have changed and you need to hear that. You need to know that you've changed. You're more in tune with yourself, with life, with things than I think you give yourself credit for. Okay. But you have changed for the better. And now it's time for things to balance for you. Okay. We've got this, this balancing for Sagittarius, like times three, with the temperance, the four of wands, and then the six of wands, or sorry, the, the six of uh, pentacles. The sun is going to shine on you. You're getting a wish fulfillment. Okay. soulmate love others of you great healing in your life where you need it the most others of you money getting better and improving others of you finally feeling like you have a reason to celebrate be happy conception all right so there's like these four beautiful outcomes all right one of these is yours Sagittarius one of them is yours that is your dawn coming you want to tell Sagittarius spirit? Yeah, stop worrying. Make the choice to stop worrying. All right. And again, like if you are involved with somebody and you guys are in conflict of, of what you want and, and what you need to do moving forward. Spirit's like, let your, release your hands. Remember, there's destiny at play, okay? There's destiny at play, and you, you need to make the choice to not worry, to trust your path, to trust your life, to trust yourself. Yeah, it's not all bad. I know some bad has happened, but it's not all bad, Sagittarius. Again, focus on the prize opposed to the darkness. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Alright, I feel like cut the deck. And look at what was on the bottom when I said it. The uh, Ace of Swords, Emperor, the Moon, and look at that, the Six of Wands. You're coming out of the darkness of night, Sagittarius, into the light of day. And again, with the Emperor, th things are going to um, get much more stable for you. Again, there's a destiny here. And the only thing that's really required of you is to make the choice to focus on the prize, the star, okay? Focus on the prize while you move through the darkness because your journey is, is leading you back into the sun. Sun, moon. Oh, I'm sorry. Star, moon, and sun. Sun, moon, and stars. Okay? Focus here not here because this is where you're going this is in the future this is what is coming for you 
And what this sun represents is something different for each of you, right? General reading. But it's coming. And spirit is like, you, you don't need to lift a finger, really. You just need to keep moving forward and make the choice that you're going to focus on this no matter what. Because it will make the journey more enjoyable. This is where you're headed regardless. Regardless. Success. Recognition. Positivity. Connection. That's where you're headed. But if we get caught up in the darkness, we feel lost. We lose our way. We, we feel ungrounded. We start fearing. And I know that this is where you're, you're um, going. It's into the sun. All right, good things are coming to you, Sagittarius, absolutely. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.